chef of Mother and Restaurant. Her name is Christy. Christy, can you say hi, please? Hi. Look at the camera and say hi. Hi. Hi, so this is Christy. I am Marcia Chis. Welcome to Mother and Restaurant. And today, I'm going to teach you guys how to eat omena. So many guys love this small fish called omena. It's omena is from our lake side, uh, Lake Victoria. But many people just don't know how to prepare omena correctly. So today I'm gonna show you step by step how to properly prepare the most delicious omena that you've ever had in your whole lifetime. So the first thing that you have to do when you're preparing omena is to just pick it up and see if there's any is anything that is not part of it like you have to just go through it and pick out all the rubbish that you see. Available. Like you see this, I have set all this out. So the very first thing is to make sure that the omena is clean, like thoroughly clean. Okay guys? So now that I've made sure that my omena is clean, the next thing that I have to do is wash it with hot water. And when I say hot water, I don't mean warm water. You have to wash it with hot boiling water. And if you can see right here over the gas, my hot water is ready. And so I'm gonna take my omena and wash it right inside here. So let me take my sufuria down here. And I'm just gonna put the omena inside. I'm gonna take some hot water and I put it inside. And let me just put this a little bit. If you can see right over here. Christine is cooking the dairy for a customer. So when I'm washing omena, I don't let it soak for too long inside the water. I will use a sieve to just mix it. By washing omena with hot water, this helps to remove all the bitterness inside the omena. So this one will make sure that when you are eating it, it's not, uh, it doesn't have that bitter taste inside. So I'll just wash it momentarily. And I'm gonna remove it using a sieve. Make sure you wash it. Don't don't let it stay too long and don't let it stay too short. Just I need something bigger to just scoop it right out. I'm gonna use this, guys. And we are cooking this for a customer guys if you want to come to motherland restaurant we are located in kitengela kitengela is in kajiado county so from kitengela town uh, from kitengela state if you're coming to motherland via public transportation you have to take a tuk-tuk 30 shillings and you alert at quick mart there's a new uh, quick mart which is being built in new post kitengela so once you alert here, we are directly opposite the new quick mat. And you will find motherland behind Blue Bull's Lake Store. If you're coming via private means, once you get to Kitengela town, you have to continue driving like you're going to Kajiado County. And uh, you will pass the first shell petrol station on your right. Keep going. The second shell petrol station on your left. And you're going to make a right turn 
and you're gonna see us right there, right next to Grazo Hotel. So from Kitengela town, I can say, depending on traffic, could be five to 10 minutes drive from Kitengela town. Motherland restaurant offers a variety of food. Like you can see right now, we are preparing omena, but we also do offer uh, tilapia from Lake Victoria. We have fresh tilapia fish, if you want it cold, if you want it fried. We also do offer ugali, we have uh, gideri, we have uh, snacks like sausages and samosas. We have so, so, so many, many items. Uh, we have kukukineji. So these are just some of the food that we offer. And we have a full bar with all the drinks that are available. We have live bands. So just telling you a little bit about Motherland Restaurant. Anyway, back to my omena. Right now you can see that I've already washed it. I've set it aside. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to deep fry this omena. How do I deep fry the omena? I'm gonna deep fry the omena using hot oil. And um, in this case, to save on some economy, we're gonna use uh, oil that we have used to fry fish. So we're gonna use the same oil because somebody who eats omena definitely eats fish, guys. Okay, so you beautiful ladies and uh, some gentlemen, you have already seen what I've done. I've already washed the omena with hot water. And now, uh, inside my kitchen, I have put oil. Yes, when you put the oil in the pan, you have to wait until the oil is hot. Uh, my oil, I can see, it's already ready right now. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and put the omena. I've already washed my hands, my hands are very clean. I'm using a lot of oil to describe the omena. I've already, I'm already putting uh, so much omena on the oil. Okay, a lot of, one of the biggest mistakes that many people do when cooking this is to keep turning it over and over and over again. No, 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 no. You deep fry omena like you deep fry the fish. Once you put it on this side, you let one side to cook fast. And it has to cook until it's golden brown in color. You have to let it dry, but not too dry. Don't let it burn, okay? So, uh, I'm not gonna turn it over and over and over again. And you can see right now, uh, our chef, Christine, is preparing ugali. And omena, 99.99999% uh, of the time, you eat omena and ugali. You can do white ugali and you can do brown ugali. Here at Motherland, we have both white ugali and brown ugali. So you can see right now that uh, Christine is cooking ugali and cooking the omena. Omena is one of the most uh, delicious meals that you can ever find in Kenya. It's one of the delicacies of uh, Africa, one of the delicacies of the Luo community. So if you are planning to marry a Luo, whether you are a Muzungu or you are a Black, just tell them to make your omena. Most of the new ladies know how to make omena very well. And uh, I definitely do. So. Talk to me, baby. Okay, guys, uh, right now I can see that the omena is starting to turn golden. Mmm, this is looking so yummy. So, guys, you can see the color of the omena. It is golden brown mm, 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 mm. if you cook this for your husband oh my god yes trust me oh he ain't going nowhere baby <laughs> he's gonna be so stuck yeah stuck like a glue all over you hey hey if you have any other ideas of cooking omena, just leave a comment below. If you like the way that I'm cooking, 
just leave a comment below on the channel and if you want any additional information if you want me to guide you step by step on how to cook omena just leave a comment below if you're missing on something if you want anything to add anything to subtract yeah so right now the omena is completely ready and now what i'm gonna do is sieve out all the oil you can't eat all this oil okay we have to sieve out all the oil and get it out of the pan and then after we sieve the oil and get it out of the pan now you're gonna see the magic that is coming next okay guys just be right there one second let me get out all the oil out of the oil and right now what i'm gonna do right now is just take this out and i'm gonna use my seat here you see that uh, the omena is ready and I'm sieving out all this oil. The omena is dry. And I have to get out all this oil because you can't eat all this oil. Okay? Once you have sieved the oil, you see what we have. I'm going to add some salt when the omena is still very, very hot. And now I'm going to reduce the temperature, the heat. So I'm just going to take salt and add it there. And my tomatoes, I have to go really fast right now. So let me just wash the tomatoes very, very fast. I've washed the tomatoes already. And I'm just going to use my chopping pot, chop this really, really, really fast. Okay, for me personally, I don't put onions on omena because I believe that the onions will add that bitter taste, you know, the bitter taste that you see. Let me just put a little bit fast to make sure it's not burning. Very, very right, completely right, almost bondeka. Yeah, what you use bondeka, or some people call bondeka, but I use very, very ripe tomatoes. They add taste to the omena, they make it more delicious. Just amazing. I'm putting a bit like this, and I'm gonna add more. Uh, tomatoes on my omena. Um, I don't know how you eat yours, but for me, a lot of tomatoes, a lot of tomatoes, as much tomatoes as you can. And if you come to Motherland, this omena just costs a hundred bucks, guys. Imagine so. <laughs> Imagine so now, Nakula omena, ya masi at Yeah? So guys, you're welcome to Motherland. We do deliveries, uh, free deliveries. Know so that some of you guys you like uh, your omena without tomatoes, but for me, I love mine with a lot of tomatoes. If you can see that the tomatoes they bring out that red color, and right now we are approaching Valentine. So uh, you can prepare omena with tomatoes for your Valentine. Or you can just come to Motherland and just have Masia cheese make for you the best omena ever. So right now we are in the very last stage of making the omena. And what I'm going to do right now is make sure that the tomato is completely crushed. That you can't see it anymore. So I, sometimes I use my own spoon to just smash the tomatoes inside. Uh, if you notice, I've not added any water. So right now, I'm just using the spoon to crush the tomatoes and mix it and make sure that it's completely mixed inside with omena. Okay, guys? This is the very last stage that you use when you are preparing your omena. I've already put salt inside 
and I've already put tomatoes. Now I'm just gonna continue cooking it until the tomato comes become part of the omena. And you cannot tell the difference. So guys, if you have not already done this, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe right now to our channel. Just click the subscribe button. Make sure you follow us. We have other social media handles. If you go to Instagram, Motherland Restaurant is our handle. So just go ahead and follow us on Instagram. On Facebook, we also have our Facebook page. It's called Motherland Bar and Restaurant. And uh, make sure you follow our social media handles. Because now I'm going to be bringing you guys uh, different menus. Different menus all the time. And you can learn how to cook like the way we do it at Motherland Restaurant. If you want to come here and eat, I'm going to remind you we are located in Kitengela. And to be specific, Yukos. And we are just directly opposite the new OBC mall or the Quick Mart, which is being built in Kitengela. So guys, um, let's go ahead and come to Motherland and if, if you want to order takeaway, we do deliveries within Kitengela. And if you're outside Kitengela and you still want us to give your mena, uh, we're gonna do delivery to you, but you're gonna be responsible for paying for transport. We should be around 200 bob to your location, guys. Just continue to see how the omena is now looking. Oh my god. This doesn't look. Right now, I'm gonna tell you guys the secret. Yeah? Most of you guys, maybe you can cook the very delicious omena, but now you have to learn how to present it. The presentation matters a lot. The setup, the finishing. How do you give it to your baby? How do you serve it? Okay? So uh, here I have a, a beautiful large plate and uh, whenever you cook omena, just make sure that you have some greens on the side. In this case, I'm going to serve you guys omena, cabbage and ugali on the side. This is a balanced diet because we have proteins, carbohydrates and we have the veggies. So, so uh, this is the omena we have. I cooked so much, but it's gone. The customers have bought all of it. So that gives you an idea of how delicious motherland omena tastes. So here on the side, you can see that I have cabbage, some greens, and I'm just going to put my garlic right there. Um, we eat this with our hands. <laughs> we don't need a spoon and a knife and a fork. Hey, yeah, our toes. Spoon and knife and a fork you are needed. What you have to do is just go ahead, wash your hands. Like I'm washing right now on the top. Huh. And then what do you do next? You take a garlic like this. And you put some omena. Mmm. And let's go. Wow. You gotta test this guys. And this is the end of our video today, guys. If you want to follow us on social media. Go ahead and do so, you know, um, this January life is a bit hard, people are struggling, but you don't need to spend 500 every day for lunch, 500 every day for supper. If you live within Kitengela and you're working here, maybe in Jokali, just order this meal for 100 bob. The veggies are free. Your mena and the girl, you just going for 100 bob. You can have a whole meal, delicious, completely balanced, and, uh, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna remind you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, Motherland Restaurant. Uh, follow the Facebook page, Motherland Bar and Restaurant. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And 
to you next time. Until then, welcome to Motherland Restaurant. Bye, guys. <laughs>